got into martial arts when I was very young. I used to play soccer and that's how I discovered fighting actually. I remember one time I, I kicked one of the kids and he punched me and I punched back and you know, I got into a fight. And so uh, those kind of things will happen all the time. And so my mom said, you know what? Maybe he should get into martial arts. My mom was a big fan of Bruce Lee. She wanted me to be like him. So I started taking uh, karate lessons and I went into Kung Fu for a bunch of other martial arts, such as Muay Thai, kickboxing, and so forth. I did Kung Fu for about 12, 13 years, and uh, it's not so much for competition, it's more for self-defense. So I got into Muay Thai kickboxing so I can compete. Did several fights. Uh, I even became national champion Muay Thai. I, I really loved the art, so I, you know, training for me was one of the best things, not, for, not only for the body, but for the mind, you know. But for self-defense, it was one of the main things, because in New York, you have to be very careful. There was a lot of violence going on in the streets, and so I kept up with it. Right now, you know, I, I'm helping a lot of kids to stay off the street, not only teaching them some rural old-fashioned values, but uh, keeping them in, out of trouble. When I can get a kid off the street that's having issues with drugs, alcohol, or any type of violence in their home, when they come to the gym and they're able to express themselves and just forget about the outside world and you know stay positive that's my main pride i mean i have been told this and i don't want to take the credit for so much but i i have been told that i have changed a lot of kids lives they came here when i opened 17 years ago, 16 years ago, and they they find a place where they can actually feel safe, you know, and make friends and without watching over your back. You know, and uh, a lot of these kids, uh, they had a lot of issues, and now a lot of them are very successful. They have their own careers, you know, and uh, I'm very proud of that. So the picture right here is one of my first professional fighters that I trained. I, I started start him off from the beginning as well. This, uh, this is Angel Garcia. He's a very slick boxer. And uh, he was four times regional champion in boxing and then he turned professional. I believe he had about 11 professional fights. And the person next to him, that's Eddie. He's actually my cousin. Eddie Arden, he passed away almost two years ago. And uh, we miss him a lot. He's a very talented guy. He helped a lot with the gym. He passed away from uh, liver, liver failure. He had an uh, addiction to alcohol. But he was an extremely, extremely good guy, and everybody loved him. So, yeah, that was him. Great guy. Super good heart. So he will all be remembered. Martial arts means a lot to me. It means uh, a way of uh, expressing yourself, a way of keeping yourself fit, and a way of keeping yourself healthy. When I opened the gym, you know, I was so into it. I mean, you can say it's an addiction, but it's a, it's a good addiction. I was training a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of boxers, a lot of. Golden Globe champions, metro champions, national champions in boxing, and then some pro professional boxers. And I'm training a lot of Muay Thai fighters and MMA fighters as well. I mean, some of them are even world champions now, both in Muay Thai and MMA. Main reason why I opened the gym is because I really love the art and I want to have a place that I can go to whenever I want to train. You know, it's, it's, my, it's my element, you can say, you know. And me teaching others just, as I say, it's the icing of the cake, you know? <laughs>